Hi there everyone, um, my name's Lindsay, I've been watching some YouTube videos lately of people's DVD collections and updates and all of those sorts of things and one of my hobbies actually is collecting DVDs and TV show box sets so I was just going to run you through what I've got in my collection at the moment and um, I hope that you'll enjoy it and if there's any DVDs that you're thinking of getting and you wanted to know what the, the setup was of the discs and everything then I'll try and give you a good look. Okay, so first of all I'll run through some of the box sets that I own. Um, probably, I think this is probably the first set of box sets that I bought is Merlin. Now this is complete season one or series one actually um, and I really like the the slipcover for this it's like it looks like the book that Merlin has in the series with all of the magic spells and everything in and it shows you on the back what you get inside and a little bit about the series so inside you get two volumes you get volume one and volume two I'll just show you volume one inside you get this nice cover art on the outside and then the discs, you get three discs, episodes one to three, episodes four to six, that's upside down, sorry, and the special features. I really like, you've got the photograph inside, it also tells you about the different episodes, and again on the back, and it's exactly the same for volume two, and so that's what you get inside of those so that's season one I love the fact that they've done it like the book I think it makes it look really nice on the shelf you can see that's what the spine looks like it's all nicely foiled and this was a BBC series that was on I think this series was 2008 and then it went on till 2013 so that's series one um, I've also got series 2, which is the same setup, just a different colour. You can see inside you've got the two volumes with exactly the same setups inside. Um, so, yeah, that's those. And they just slip in there again. So, yeah, they, they those two go really nicely together. And then they did them in a slightly different format. This is the third series, um, which is slightly slimmer, and then on the back you've just got a little bit about the series and what special features are inside. And then in this one, you've got the picture all the way round, which is of Arthur in his um, chainmail. You've got some of the knights there and Arthur, and basically this one has got disc 1 there, disc 2, disc 3 and then you've got disc 4 and disc 5 which is the bonus features um, so yeah, you've got some more of the knights there really nice case, I love this case but it's kind of sad that it's not in the form of the book like the last ones but it means I can fit some more on my shelf which is good so that's the third one. And then the fourth series is similar, it's just a different colour. This is a silvery colour. Um, with the same picture all the way around. But it's in more warm colours. This is one of the scenes indoors. And then you've got the characters on the discs. And the special features again. This series, I love this series. Um, the first and second series were quite um, aimed more at an audi younger audience and then as they went on year by year they sort of made it a bit more dramatic and they changed some of the storylines a little bit so it's you know a bit more appropriate for the, an older audience but it's also good for children um, this is certificate 12 um, and they did also do a fifth series which is where it all ended but I don't actually have that one 
I would like to get it. I don't really watch this anymore. Um, I might get back into it again. Obviously the later series I'm a bit more interested in because it's a bit more... You know, it's just a bit more um, aimed at an adult audience really. The first two were a bit more, not childish, but more child friendly, I suppose. Um, but I would just like to get series 5 just for the fact of completing the collection. Because I'm a little bit anal about stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the full series. Um, another series of DVDs I've got are The Vampire Diaries. This is the first one. Um, this one didn't come with a slipcover when I bought it anyway. Um, but I love this show. It's I'm not really a Twilight fan. But this is a lot more... I feel like the storyline is a lot more complicated. It's a lot more adult. But that's just my feelings about it. Um, I just feel like I can invest in the characters a lot more. So this one has five discs. There's 22 episodes. Because it's a, an American season rather than a UK series. They tend to have a lot more episodes. Um, and that's just a picture of the three main characters. And a little bit about it. This is Certificate 15. Um, so yeah, not really. It's a bit more... When I started collecting box sets for real, I was a bit more into the more adult things, obviously. I mean, I started when I was about 12 when Merlin came out, but this is something that I could watch now quite happily. Um, so yeah, that's the first season. I also have series two, which is this cover art. And then on the back, got a picture of the main characters again. And then the inside is very much... Oh, this has come out. Very much a similar setup where you've got one, two, three, four, five discs. 22 episodes again. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I couldn't pick between the seasons. I love them all. Here's season three. This one, th these last three seasons did come with a slipcover, but it looks a bit old with the first two didn't have a slipcover and these three did on the shelf. And also... The slip cover on the corners, it tended to get a bit more damaged in the corners. So I just took them off. I think it looks a lot neater like this, especially when the first ones don't have them. And this one, I have this problem with this DVD. It hasn't happened to any of my others. And my friend bought this series, one of the Vampire Diaries seasons. And the disc holder broke as well. So, But that's the first two again, and then you've got the other three in there. I won't close that now because I don't want it to break. Um, this is the fourth series. Oh no, that's the second one again. Sorry. <laughs> I'm showing you the same ones again. This is the fourth series. Um, this is the one... Well, I won't spoil it for you, but hopefully you've seen it. There's a lot of changes in it. In the storyline. It's a lot different. See? The discs keep falling out. I don't think they were made very well. There we go. That one's got five discs again. And then the last one I've got, because I don't think the sixth series has come on DVD yet. I think that comes out the end of this year. This is the fifth series. And you can see there's two pictures there. Of, oh, sorry, you can see my camera reflection. But there's two pictures of Nina Dobrev there, and she plays two different characters in the series. She plays Catherine and Elena. And then there's the back again, and the inside is very much the same. And it's always number two disc that falls out. There we go very much the same again. So yeah, really good series. I recommend those a lot. They're brilliant if you're into the sort of fantasy vampire genre. Um, the next box set I've got is another UK show. This is Sherlock with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. This is the complete series one and two. Um, I got this one a couple of years ago. I will get series three, I just haven't got around to buying it yet. Um, I think that there's meant to be another episode ending the end of, airing the end of this year, and then hopefully a new season in 2016, but I'm not really sure. So there's series one and two. This is like a modern day 21st century Sherlock Holmes. Really good, great actors, Martin Freeman and Benedict Cumberbatch are brilliant. It's very quirky, the way it's filmed. Um, something really different, modern. 
a great show. I really like that one. That's one of my favourite shows. I can't wait for it to come back on. The sh episodes are actually, in each season you get three 90 minute episodes. So obviously, obviously it's like having three different films. So they don't come out with a new series very often, but when they do, it's well worth the wait. So that's Sherlock. Um, a bit random, but I also have series 5 of The Simpsons. Now, I bought this one because, and you can, well it's second hand, but I bought this because I wanted a Simpsons season in my collection, because sometimes you just feel like watching it. And I really like the older ones, so I went for the fifth, which had a lot of my favourite episodes in it. Um, and I don't really have a whole collection because there's so many of them. But I think I will build on it, you know, as time goes on. Um, but yeah, this is what this one looks like anyway. It's kind of the circus theme. You've got a little letter there from Matt Groening. And then you've got all of the discs. And there, uh, the leaflet here, which has got all about the different episodes and everything inside. That one doesn't want to go back in. Sort that out in a minute. And then you've got the four discs. The pictures do join up, it's just they've all gone out of shape a bit. So yeah, that's that one. I just wanted a Simpsons DVD in my collection. And I just picked one that had some of my favourite episodes in. So it's a bit randomly stuck there, fifth series on my bookshelf, but... Um, it's nice to have one, at least in your collection, to watch when you're in that mood for a bit of Simpsons. Um, another series I have, now this is a lot different to The Simpsons, um, is American Horror Story. This is series one, season one. Um, it's 12 episodes. Um, if you haven't seen this, the cover might look a bit strange. Um, it's uh, 18, so, but it's basically a series about um, a horror story, basically. So I don't really like horror films that much. I've only watched a few. Um, the ghostly ones, I can't stand. I'm just too freaked out by them. Um, but this is actually a ghost story. But because it's a TV series, I find that you invest a lot more in the characters, and I find it a lot easier to watch then because it's not just about trying to make you jump every five minutes it's more about the character stories um, so yeah this is series one this one was about murder house every different series is like a different story and the cast members that come back play completely different characters so this one was set in the modern day um, as you can see there's the four discs there um, and this one was about a murder house in California um, and about a family who move in there and the different ghosts that they meet and the neighbours and everything. It's a really brilliant series. I really recommend it if you don't mind. Something is slightly scary. Um, but yeah, it's brilliant. So that's series one of American Horror Story. I also have series two here, which is in a slipcover. This is Asylum. This one was set in a m mental asylum um, in the 1960s in America and it's about one of the main characters gets admitted in there when they think that he is um, mentally ill he claims to have seen aliens and that they abducted his wife and it turns out that's actually true that he's actually got nothing wrong with him but it's about all the different other characters in the asylum and their stories and also the nuns that run it so yeah, it's a brilliant series. It's completely different to the first one, but it's got some of the regular cast come back and play different characters. And this has got four discs, like this. Some really creepy characters. But it's an awesome show. I've also got series three, but I'm lending that to the friend at the moment. That's Coven. Um, the first two are definitely my favourites. The second one is definitely a lot darker. Um, but series 3 is good as well, it's just a bit lighter, not quite so dark, but um... Hi guys, sorry about that abrupt ending there, I was in the middle of filming and then it said that my camera had run out of memory, so I've had to quickly put that, 
part of the video on my computer and then delete it so I can finish filming um, this now. So yeah, I was just talking about American Horror Story Asylum. Um, again, like the first series, I really recommend this if you're into horror films. This is definitely a lot more scarier than the first one, um, but it's also brilliant. So yeah, that's American Horror Story. And the third one is Coven, which I'd also recommend. It's not quite as good as the first two, I don't think. But it's still a good watch. Still got great cast. Um, so yeah, that's that. Another box set that I've got is Being Human. This is the first series. Sorry about the reflection. You can see me there in the camera. I'll try and tilt it so you can see the case a bit better. This is Being Human Series 1. This was shown on BBC3 in the UK. Um, and it's on the premise of a werewolf, a vampire and a ghost that live together. It's got two discs. Disc 1 and disc 2. This first series only had six episodes. Um, and it's mainly just about getting to know the characters, getting to know their troubles, their past. Um, yeah, just a really sort of... It's a very British vampire drama. Not that you get many of them, but yeah, that's basically the premise of it. So that's series one. Then this is series two. The same three characters. The character in the middle is the vampire, by the way. He's called Mitchell. Then on the left, you've got George, who's a werewolf. And then on the right, you've got Annie, who's a ghost. Series 2 is probably my least favourite out of all five seasons. Just, I don't go much on the storyline, but I still, you know, you learn a lot about the characters. So it's still worth watching. Um, and at this point, they're still living in Bristol. So that's the second series. Then the third series, they move to um, Wales, um, and this character who was introduced in the second series is another werewolf who um, becomes George's girlfriend. Oops, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's the third series. So starting from series two, there's eight episodes, which is why there's three discs. This is actually the last season that has all of the original cast. So that's series three. And then series four, there's a change up. Um, the werewolf, George, is in the first episode, but then um, some different characters come in. This Tom is the werewolf. He was in series three as a sort of recurring guest character. And then Hal is introduced in series four, episode two. So that's series four, it's eight episodes again, with three discs. Hal is probably one of my favourite characters. I love him and Mitchell, but I think Hal is my favourite. So that's series four. And then series five, which has got Tom the werewolf, Alex the ghost, new character, and Hal the vampire again. Series five has got some great guest appearances, it's got um, Phil Davis, uh, Colin Holt and Stephen Robertson brilliant characters um, and a really really exciting end this, this one was only six episodes but it was still fantastic one of my favorite series of the whole let of the whole lot so yeah that's the fifth one and the final one and then the next lot that I've got is a bit of a British classic comedy sitcom. Um, this is My Family, um, starring uh, Robert Lindsay and Zoe Wanamaker, um, about their family. They're three children living in London. Um, ben plays a dentist, kind of grumpy father figure, who loves his kids, but they do tend to get on his nerves a bit. He'd rather be watching, reading the paper, I think, sometimes, and having to deal with all of the trouble they get themselves into. Um, and so one of my plays the kind of well like uh, well um I don't know how you describe her character. She's kind of always trying to figure out what her children are doing, always trying to get 
into their sort of love lives. They've got any new boyfriends or girlfriends and interfering really a little bit. But it's hilarious. The whole premise of their family is brilliant. So this is the first series, which is one disc. Eight episodes all on that one disc. They're half an hour episodes. Um, this one aired, I think it was 2000 or 2001. Um, but yeah, just a brilliant sitcom. Could watch it over and over again and I'd never get bored of it. Um, this is series two. Again, the same characters. This one's a double disc. And it's... I'm not sure how many episodes are on here. It might be 12. I'm not certain. Oh, 13 episodes. Um, so yeah, another great series. Series three. Um, Janie, the daughter, doesn't appear in this one very much because she's gone off to university I think in this series but this one again I think it's got 13 episodes brilliant these earlier ones have got the oldest son Nick in them he's not in some of the later series um, he's just an excellent character he's really funny so yeah that's the third one then I always have the fourth one which is another double disc bit of a plain background but and this one I think is 13 series 13 episodes again and Nick is in this one, but not... Um, I don't think he has that much appearance as he does normally. But he's still in it. And then this is Abby, who is Ben, the dad's niece, or cousin actually, who moves in with them. So that's that one. And then the final series that I have is Series 5. There are actually 11 series, but I've only got up to 5. These are actually my favourite ones. This is the series where... Nick makes his last appearance, sadly, because he was like my favourite character. But again, a brilliant series, 13 episodes. So yeah, that's my family. That's my collection of the DVDs of my family. And then a few last TV shows I've got. I have got Gavin and Stacey, The Complete Collection. Classic British sitcom written by Ruth Jones and James Corden who appear in it and this one is like this with a digi stack of all the different discs so yeah you've got loads in there and this includes I think it's three series and the Christmas special so that's that one really funny sort of modern sitcom some great actors Bob Bryden, Larry Lamb, Alison Steadman so yeah that's that one um, then this is Black Books, series 1, 2 and 3, the complete collection. This was on between 2000 and 2004. It's another British comedy. Um, a bit of a dark comedy. It's set in a bookshop owned by Bernard Black. And he is a bit of an alcoholic. He cares more about the books than he does about the customers, to be honest. He'd rather not have any customers. <laughs> and um, he employs a character played by Bill Bailey who is a bit more concerned about making money and making the shop work. And it also features their best friend, Fran, played by Tamsin Gregg. Comes in this little folder with a letter from Dylan Moran, which explains about the box set, but it's not entirely truthful. It pretends to be a story, which is utterly ridiculous. Um, he's just written a letter saying about visiting a parallel universe and all this, which doesn't happen, but it's a great little letter to have in there. And the three discs. So yeah, there's six episodes in each series, and it's a brilliant watch if you love British comedy. Um, Dylan Moran, if you didn't know, was has done a lot of work with Simon Pegg. Um, he appeared in Shaun of the Dead. Um, so yeah, that's Black Books. And the final TV show I have on DVD is the first season of I'm Alan Partridge. This, sadly, isn't the best disc cover. I bought this on eBay secondhand because I'd seen one episode and I didn't want to buy... I wasn't sure whether I was going to absolutely love it. So I just bought a secondhand one. I think it was like a pound. So I'm just going to try and get a different case for it and move the artwork over on the discs. But, um... Yeah, it's a funny series. I haven't watched all of them. I've only seen the first one. 
but I watched the film that came out recently called um, Alan Partridge Alpha Papa and it's just about a sort of failed radio DJ. He was a TV host and now he's turned to being an early morning local radio presenter and it's about him trying to move up the career ladder again um, and just the funny things that happen in his life. So yeah, that's I'm Alan Partridge. That's six episodes on there. I think there's only two series of this. He's done a few different TV shows. Um, Steve Coogan plays him, if you didn't know. Um, but there was only two series of this particular show. So that's the first one. So that's it for the TV shows. I'll go through my movies now. Some Disney ones first. I've got The Aristocats. Classic Disney film. With the disc there and some nice disc art. That's one of my favourite films. I've also got the two disc special edition of Bambi. Um, I only just watched this recently actually. I had never seen Bambi. And I saw this and I had to buy it because... I mean, everyone's seen Bambi. I don't know why I hadn't got around to it. And it's got disc one there, and then disc two. Brilliant film. It's only about an hour long, but it's just... I loved it. I could watch it over and over again. And it is sad, but it has a happy ending. So, yeah, that's Bambi. And then the next Disney film I own is Piglet's Big Movie. Um, I want to get more Money the Pooh films. I have seen some of them more. I've seen Tigger's movie, but this is the only one I own on DVD. Um, I've had this one for years, and it's just a brilliant film. There's a disc there with some nice disc art. I think Winnie the Pooh you can never grow out of. Um, you could be 2 or 92, and you'd still love it. So that's that one. And then on to some of my other DVDs. I've got The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. This is the first one. I haven't seen the other two yet, but I am going to buy them when they've gone down in price a little bit. So yeah, that's the first Hobbit film with Martin Freeman again and Ian McKellen. So yeah, that's brilliant. And it also stars Ian Turner, who plays Mitchell, the vampire, in the first three series of Being Human. So that's that. And then this film I only got a few days ago with some of my birthday money, so I haven't actually seen it yet. But I've been wanting to watch it, so it looks really funny. It's We're the Millers, the extended cut, and it's about this guy who's a drug dealer and he gets his neighbours to pretend to be his family so that he can go south of the border to smuggle a huge shipment of drugs. And it's just about their road trip and what they get up to. So yeah, that sounds great. Emma Roberts is in Series 3 of American Horror Story. And I think she's in Series 4 as well. I've only seen part of Series 4 so far. So it's not out on DVD yet. So yeah, I'm going to watch that one. This film, I also got a few days ago and I watched it last night. And it was one of the best films I've seen in a long time. It was brilliant. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did. I'm not usually into these sorts of films. It's like a romantic, it's sort of a comedy and also a drama. It's very sad as well. But it has some comic moments, which I think makes it more watchable. Because you don't want it all to be doom and gloom. You want to have some comedy in there. Um, but it's just a brilliant film. I absolutely loved it. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. So that's that one. I'll show you one more, then I'll stop this video, because I think I'm going to run out of time again. I um, might have to do this in two different parts. So... This one is Remember Me, starring Robert Pattinson. Brilliant film, very sad at the end, but it's also just a really nice film. Um, yeah, I won't spoil it, because if I say anything about it, I might spoil the ending. But yeah, it's well worth a watch. So, I'm going to end this video now, and I'll show you the rest of my movies in the next video. I'm going to upload the next one in a different part, um, so I'll do another video and show you the rest but this is going to run out of memory in a minute so thank you for watching and I'll be back with the rest in part two okay bye